Okay, so that's a simple key value pair, but what if you need something a bit more complex like a list? Okay, what if you need a list? Well, we can do that too. So if we create something called, if we create a new variable, a new key, top level variable here with the key our list, what we can do, we can do this in two ways, okay? First of all, this might be familiar to a lot of you, is we can open up a pair of square braces and then we can put some numbers in there. We're actually going to call this our number list. We can also do one called our string list. And instead of doing it in that manner, we can do it in the way that I favor, which is this manner. And we can put A, B, C. Okay, I'm actually going to take that out now. It's not really relevant. Okay, so now we've added two new variables. We've still got our old ones here, simple key value variables. Now we've got key list variables and key list variables and the two different ways in which we can define a list within YAML. Okay, remember, this is a YAML document. Okay, this is a YAML concept, not an Ansible concept. And so what we want to do now is what happens if we go R number list okay uh, we'll leave the hello in there we're saying hello to our variable ah oh, aren't we nice okay what happens if we run that we get our list we get our list as is okay so we're essentially saying we want three values in this case the number one the number two and the number three to be in a list which we can then loop over which is what we're going to talk about in another video but lists are ideal for when you want to group a set of like kind of essentially elements or values that are similar or related in some way and what you would do is you would loop over those variables in order to access each one one by one and we will look at loops if we change that to our string list I wonder what the output will look like because we've actually defined it the list in a different way so if we do that now we get the same except it's now formatting it as a unicode string so this isn't effectively normal JSON output this is Python output and it's basically telling us that it's a unicode string so we can actually put more more letters in there to string not a character and of course, if we let that run now, we'll see that it's still still a string, still Unicode. So lists are very powerful. You will you will use them a lot. In fact, you're using one. You're using two right now before we even created these two variables. And we've got one here. Okay, is that making sense now? We've got that. That makes sense why that's there now. And under tasks, we've got another one here as well. And this is a list of this is a list, a single list item that contains an object, and we'll get into that in more detail shortly. But that is the they're the basic two basic syntaxes available to us when we are creating lists within a playbook.